Steve. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, first off, I uh, want to get an update on Cray Poe. We were hearing that he had a broken leg. I don't have any, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't have any new, any new information for you. Okay, uh, it, it, so you don't know if it's broken or not? I really do not know. Okay. I haven't, you see what's going on. Yeah. I haven't okay. had a chance yeah. to sit down with the doctors okay. yet. Can you talk about John McCarthy, uh, bringing him on? He's a guy who played one MLS game all year, but he also had, had faced penalty kicks against America. He's, if you can just talk about what he did today and... and yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, couldn't happen to a better guy. John uh, is, is uh, one of the heartbeats of this team, um, uh, emotionally. And um, I think I mentioned yesterday, the press conference, uh, there was a moment in preseason where we found ourselves as a group, and John was right in the middle of that, um, being a vocal leader for this team and working very hard all season long and being an amazing uh, number two in disguise. Um, and we know what he can do in penalties. We've seen it. Uh, we trained them. Uh, we've we trained for these moments. And uh, John uh, came up big. Like I said, it couldn't happen to a better guy. I'm extremely happy for him and for everybody at, at uh, LAFC. We're going to come right over here to the right. Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan Siegel from MLSoccer.com. Uh, Garrett's goal. I think it's safe to say that's why you signed him. What did you see? And take us into just the frankly, global magnitude of that moment. It's Gareth being Gareth. Um, he's a big player with, with big qualities and um, a guy who makes big plays. Uh, let's hope he doesn't in the first game of the World Cup um, for all those Americans here in the room. <laughs> but it's Gareth being Gareth. He does it in training. He's done it this season. Um, when, he's, when he's feeling well and healthy, um, he makes his difference in games. It's, it's that, and that's why... Uh, we bring him those moments. Um, I wish he was 24. We're going to stay on the side of the room over here Steve. to your right. Um, Jay Posner with the Union Tribune in San Diego. I'm curious about two things. Were you considering bringing in John anyway for kicks? Would you have done that? And also, what does this entire thing and this title mean to you? Um, yeah, I mean, we know, we talk about every possible change, every possible scenario. I write them down. I document it all. Um, and that is a scenario that we have talked about. Um, whether or not we would have done it, I don't know. It's purely hypothetical. Um, it happened, so we had to. Um, what it means to me, I, I, I'm not sure yet. I think I need a few days to process. Um, for me, the goal is always to maximize the potential of this group. And anything short of a supporter shield or MLS Cup for this particular group with this mentality um, wouldn't have been enough. And so I think a job I can say for myself and the rest of the coaching staff, um, a job well done. We've, we've, done our, we've done our job. We've done what we were here to do by maximizing the potential of this group. And um, it was a lot of hard work, uh, but that makes me proud. Um, not the title per se, but to un out of a group of individuals to make a team and to create a mentality to come back and throw everything that went through today, um, the emotional roller coaster that they found a way to come together and win. Um, that's probably what I'm most proud of. We're going to stay on the right side. Uh, Dylan Hernandez here with the LA Times. Uh, Steve, could you just kind of describe the kind of emotional ups and downs, you know, taking the lead late, giving up that lead, falling behind, and then kind of tying it in? Stop his time of overtime. It's, it's classic uh, Philly. They never give up. They work hard. Um, they're scrappy. They can score goals in any phase of the game. Um, I thought we had a pretty good first half. We had a lot under control. Deserved to be in the lead. Let them back in. Got a little away from what we were doing. Um, probably has more to do with Philly. They, they played very well in the second half. Um, yeah, it's just a roller coaster. Um, but we made a few changes. Um, went for it. Put on uh, Christian Teo at clear number 10. Then with three forwards, took away a, a midfielder. Um, it's kind of not rolling the dice, but trying to change the, the momentum, the dynamic of the game. And we did. Uh, and we were able to create a few more attacks and make Philly defend a little more and, and relieve the pressure a little bit. Um, and so, and then it just kind of continues. And you know, when you take the lead, it's always tricky at the end of games. There's emotions, there's plays, there's set pieces. But it's classic final. Um, a lot of finals throughout many competitions around the world are decided by set plays and those moments where mistakes are made. 
um, not so much out of the run of play. And so I think we saw more of that tonight. Uh, we're going to go right here in the back list. Joseph. Uh, Joseph DiPolito, The Guardian. Two things. First, when you were compiling the roster, what impressed you about John McCarthy that you put him on the roster? And second, how do you approach a game when you are down 10 men in the final few minutes of the second uh, extra time period and you need a goal? Um, yeah, John is an excellent goalkeeper. Um, could be a number one elsewhere, could, could be a number one for us. It's very tight between him and Max, but both are, are great teammates and push each other to get better. Um, and uh, my personal opinion, um, the best number two in the league. And um, that's how we choose our goalkeepers. To answer your second question, there isn't a whole lot of uh, thinking and <laughs> going on there. Um, you're down 10, you take your moments, you need a goal. The guys know what to do. We train for that all the time. Um, these 911 moments that I'll call them in games um, are a part of our game plan. We go through it. Um, we had to take Mahal out for tactical reasons because we needed a goalkeeper, and we tried to keep our um, larger stature players on the field for set pieces and crosses, and um, uh, it worked. We're going to do three more for our coach. As you can see, we have uh, one of our players that has joined us. We want to make sure that we're keeping our time efficient. We're going to go with Joe, Jeff, and Ivis, and then we're going to switch to Ilya. Joe Reedy, Associated Press. Steve, was the plan always when you got to extra time to bring Gareth in, and just what was there a time just during this past week when you felt like he was healthy to go? Uh, yeah, I mean, the same goes for last week. He was healthy and ready to go last week if need be. Um, and, yeah, it's always a plan to put him on um, exactly for the reason uh, he scored his goal. Um, he has the quality to do that. He has the physical stature to do that. Yes, we are, buddy. We are. Congratulations. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to Max. Get well, buddy. I'll call you in a bit. Hold on. You go back to the locker room. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, would you mind repeating that question? I lost track. Just, Gareth, was the yeah. plan just for him for to come in in extra time, or did you think about bringing him in Sure. We, I mean, if we need, need be in earlier as well, but the way the game shaped up, uh, you go ahead in the 83rd minute, I believe, and then um, yeah, you, get, you get the equalizer, um, and then you have to think about things a little bit. What can you do? There's 30 more minutes to play. It's not just five or 10 or eight minutes. There's 30 more additional minutes, um, so then you have to think about it tactically and, and – um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a piece that we have on our roster um, that I have that maybe Philly didn't have. And uh, I think that's just the difference tonight. Jeff, go ahead. Jeff Ruder of The Athletic, congratulations, Coach. Not a bad first season for you in the job. Um, I was wondering if you could reflect on stepping into the role um, after what Bob Bradley had done coaching this club and then also wondering what do you do for an encore after this? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. i answer the second part of your question right now. Um, yeah, so I think I've gone about coaching in, in different ways, and um, I've coached developmental, um, which is a, a different way to coach players. Um, there's a different goal, uh, so you have to coach them differently. Your mythology is different, methodology is different, and your, uh, your tactics then are different as well. Um, but for this particular job during the interview process, I can share um, what is working you shouldn't change. Um, because that takes a lot of energy and effort and resources. What's working, hold on to, and what's not working, change. And that was my approach in the interview process, and um, I was able to convince the right people to give me a shot, and uh, I think they're happy with the decision now. Final question, then we're going to bring up a couple players. Go ahead, Ivis. Uh, Steve, Ivis Kalorsa, SBS Ivis. Soccer. Congrats, Steve. I, I want to take you back three years ago. You're in Germany trying to break in, trying to find a job. It's not like it's, it's tougher than you than you probably thought. Sure. Um, how frustrating was that? And when you and how crazy is it that so much so much has happened in just three years? Is it does it not even seem like it's been three years from that point to now here you are lifting a trophy? Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. But um, I think I, I mentioned this the other day in the press conference. This business as a coach or as a player is, 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 is not planable. Um, things happen. You need to be ready for them. The worst thing you can do as a coach is jump into a situation that you're not prepared for. Um, and so during those times where you're looking for the right job or looking for a job, um, it's about preparing yourself when it does come. And um, I felt very well prepared for this job. Um, and I think maybe two titles speaks for itself. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. We will have.